Netflix has always been a uh, kind of a grounded way to watch anime. Uh, it's made a lot of good ones, such as Devil Man, Voltron, uh, Castlevania is freaking awesome. But for every um, good apple in the Netflix original anime series, there are a lot of bad ones. I thought we spice things up a bit, and and look take a look at the first episodes of some of the worst ones that are really bad, in my opinion. And yeah, let's let's get this started. The first anime we're going to be looking at on the Netflix original series is Sword Guy. Now, to be perfectly honest, I was pretty excited about Sword Guy. The trailer looked pretty decent. CGI wasn't awful looking. I'm also a fan of guys with swords coming out of their hands. It's, it's something not used very much. I, I like it. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Of course, you know, I mean, the demon thing looked cool, I guess. This clown with flame floor, I think. But yeah, the anime on Netflix is awful. So we start off the episode in Egypt. And we get probably a, the worst like exposition I've ever heard for anything. Sword Zolt Guy. It's no ordinary sword. The Roman legend says they suddenly attacked by savages. The village was unprepared, then quickly overrun by the barbarians and prayed to the gods for aid in their struggle. But the gods never answered. Hadn't come to a demon village. So then a bunch of treasure hunters come in, they kill the people. So once the guy gets the sword, he, he takes it to his place, and the sword just, just kind of calls to him, I guess, and he kills all of his people because the demon sword wanted him to do it. But then, all of a sudden, we see this married couple after like a grotesque slaughter of these three security officers that the guy that cut the sword killed and it's just so out of place and it's just so weird like why didn't we just open up the first episode with this like i mean if you're gonna so yeah after we get to see the happy married couple talk about their baby whether it's a boy or a girl we we then see a guy like in a bed with girls and he just explodes the boat and that's yeah another demon sword getting sealed by like all these monks or whatever and i guess the demon sword calls one of the monks and he grabs the sword and he kills everyone there and he says i want blood blood i need more blood i need more blood blood i need more blood <laughs> it's so freaking stupid it sounds like the freaking call of duty black op zombies for some reason Need more blood, more blood. so then we see the married couple again walking in a dark alleyway in the middle of the night for some reason i, I don't don't ask me why I, I don't know and then the monk guy that got the sword possession he killed the father but he doesn't kill the pregnant lady i guess he doesn't kill pregnant ladies so then he just kills another lady on the street and then he like, comes back to his senses he, no one's really calling the cops or anything no one's really doing anything i mean it's a guy with a sword at the end of the day he could just shoot him but whatever so yeah the pregnant lady kills him and then the sword possesses her and it sounds fem feminine now Blood. For some I reason, I don't know. More blood. It's like in her head. I guess the sword changes its gender on whoever wields it. I I I, I don't know. So then we see the glasses guy that got possessed by the sword, the collector man that collected the sword, and he meets this other flame guy that exploded the boat earlier on in the episode, and they say their magic names. I am known as the Flamberge. I incinerate everything in my path. And I am Soltgein. I am the ruler of death everlasting. 
and their names are the worst, like generic, mean nothing freaking names I've ever heard. Freaking Zoltgeim. Zoltgeim. I am Zoltgeim. I am Zoltgeim. So they transform, which is honestly I, the, the most hilarious, like over the top. Trent, not the, not the most over the top, but some of the worst design. Like they look like rejected Power Ranger villains. So uh, all the build up has led up to this moment. You know, we, we got all this exposition about demon swords and how cool they are, I guess. And you know, it's, it's you know, building up to everything, but and apparently they, all they seek is battle, because that's what the glasses guy said when he confronted the flame thing. So yeah, what, 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 what is this epic battle? What, what, what is all this build up leading to? Let's see. That's it. That's all we freaking get. Just a little tussle. Chucks the guy to the side. And he's like, oh, weak. <laughs> you have the worse design than me. <laughs> so then we get to the final scene of the episode. Where some old guy, like, freaking sees the mother and she hung herself, I guess. Because she, she didn't want to be in this awful show. And... He sees the baby and the swords with the baby, and then that's how it ends. Weapons. Every time you use weapons, they 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 make the they come to life. One's life. They make into you ceremony. They, they become Even demons. if people die, oh, weapons yeah, so, remain. So at times, 